Hello and welcome to this short video on how to create rolling titles for Premiere Pro. I am assuming you know how to create ordinary titles. And so you have created your wonderful piece of work and all your friends have helped you. And so what you need to do now is give them a credit. My particular shot is walking through the bluebells in Otley Shevin with my little dog, Scampy. But assume all my friends have helped and I want to add a, a whole rolling credit at the end. How do I do it? Okay, it's very simple, but there are a few tricks that once you know them will make it so much easier. The first thing you need to do is you need to click on your bin. If you've created one, you create new bins or new folders here. Click on your bin for titles. If you've got a well-organized project panel, put everything into bins, because that way you will save an awful lot of time looking for things. So click on titles. You could theoretically click the new icon button down here, and get a new title but that is not the way to do it. If you want to create a rolling or a crawling title click on the word title make sure your folder selected and then go up to the title menu at the top title new title default in our case roll and that tells Premiere Pro that we are creating a rolling title so it's all ready to go. Ensure that it's the same width and the same height as your project, the same frame rate, the same pixel aspect ratio, and then name it. It's always important to name your titles, because if you don't, you can end up with a whole series of titles 02, 03, 04, 05. I've had loads and loads of them, and if you don't name them, then you don't know what they are, and you've spent hours trying to find the right one to edit them. So let's call this one Credits. And then click OK. And just to show you, as it opens the title editing dialog box, it's created it in the title bin because I had the word title highlighted in the first place. And it's given it a new icon. The default still titles have this icon. Rolling titles have got a little movie icon telling you that they are movie files. They are moving. And that's why the new icon. Right. I'm not going to fool around with lots and lots of formatting. All I'm simply going to do is create a simple rolling title. Now the first thing to do is click, but click, hold and drag from one corner to the other of the inner title safe area of this box, which is the inner rectangle. Click and drag and you have now created a text area. As opposed to doing point text, which generally this icon would produce where you just type on a single line, we've actually, by clicking and dragging, done the same job as using this one, the area type tool created an area in which our titles will be made. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save time and choose a simple template from the bottom here. This is already managed to format the text for me. I haven't had to fiddle around, but I'm assuming you know how to do that. The only thing I will do is I want to change the font size. And I can change that here, or I can change it here. So I'm going to click and drag and make it near 180, I think, 190. Then you do need to click back in your area to get this cursor flashing again and then we're ready to start typing so Fred was a great help as was Eric Jimmy John Emma oh dear I can't see Emma she's off screen firstly notice this little icon here the plus that tells you that there is additional text that you cannot see it is below the screen now how do I see it the key here is to use the control or the command key on the Mac. Control on PC, command on Mac. Click and hold the control key and you get these little handles around the screen. And as you go over them, you start to get double arrows. What you want to do is click with your mouse, hold and drag down. Then let go and carry on typing. Sam, Johnny, Emma, can't see again, gone off screen. As well as having the plus icon here, I also need to scroll down with the scroll bar, hold the control key on the PC, command key on the Mac, go to the middle handle where you get that up and down arrow, and pull down again. And then scroll down so you can see the bottom one. Emma, let's do a couple more. Um, Philip, and let's say uh, Marcus. Okay, actually probably should be a C for Marcus, shouldn't it? Marcus. Let's just say these are all the people that have helped me. Next thing I want to do is I want to add a copyright symbol. So let's do three, three, four clicks. One, two, three. See if that works. 
can't see them so control key on the PC command key on the Mac pull down so I can see it and then pull down so I can see my cursor there's my cursor now here's a tip how to do a copyright symbol in a PC or a Mac on a Mac you just do option G for George but on a PC it's a little bit more you need to hold, hit alt and then on your number pad to the right not on your main keyboard that number pad to the right I want you to type 0169, 0169, let go of your alt key, and there's your copyright symbol. And then, oops, copyright me. There you go, I have now created my little bit of rolling text. It looks okay. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to add in a couple of lines underneath. One, two, can't see them. There's that little icon again, so I'm gonna hit the control or the command key, pull down. Have I got to the end? I haven't quite got to the end, so pull down again. There, I can see my cursor. There. Now, that looks pretty much okay. I'm going to actually pull this to the bottom line, and you'll see why. If you pull it to the bottom line, when it scrolls up, it is going to be based on this line. So at the end, when it finishes, it's going to finish based on where you've pulled it to. Now, if I look at this screen, I can see that Marcus may well still be visible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add another line in there and I'm going to pull it down and I'm going to have a look and see if that's worked. Can I see my cursor at the bottom? I can't quite, so I'm just going to pull it until I can see my cursor and I don't know how everything's going to look when I finish. That looks to me like it's going to be okay. Pulling all the way through, that looks like it might well work. Now if I want to reformat anything, I can click anywhere inside here and then do Control a on a PC, Command-A on a Mac, selects everything, and then I can change it. So, for instance, I can center all the text, and I can change my my selection, so I might say want to change from the one that I've got to something... Oh, look at this one here, that looks a little bit more interesting. There you go, I've changed it. Still looks okay, brilliant, that's what we want. It's all ready to go, except I need to do one more job in this dialog box. There's an icon here called the roll crawl options click on the roll crawl options and a new dialog box comes up firstly it tells me what sort of title I've got already as you can see roll is highlighted then there are these bits at the bottom now I can choose to have my titles start off screen and end off screen if I wish I would like my titles to start off screen so I'm going to click the start off screen then I have three options how do I want my title to ease onto the screen? Do I want it to start rolling very quickly at full speed, or do I want it to accelerate as a car would accelerate from a standing start going faster and faster? Well, actually, it doesn't matter to me. It's off screen. It can be going at full speed and come on screen at full speed. That's fine. But easing out, how would the car break and come to a stop? How do the titles break and come to a stop? Does matter. I don't want them to jerk to a sudden finish because that's quite amateurish. I want them to look professional, so I want them to ease out, I want them to slow down as they come to a final stop. So I need to put a figure in here. The figure you put in here is based not on seconds, but on frames. I want it to slow down over two seconds. I am PAL, that is 25 frames a second, so therefore I'm putting 50 for 50 frames in there. If I was American and I was using NTSC, which is near enough 30 frames a second, I'd have put 60 in here. Post roll over here is how long is this title going to stay on screen for? I want it to stay on screen for 3 seconds at least. Now that means I have to do it again in frames for me, which is PAL, 3 times 25, 75 frames. Then I can click OK. Then I can shut off this dialog box. I don't need to save anything because it's all done. And there is my title all ready to go. It is synthetic. It's not linked to my timeline in any way until I put it there and I can put it anywhere I like. So if I want, I can put it over my video and I can actually have a look at my whole thing here. But actually, what I want to do is put it at the end of my video. So I'm just going to put it at the end. Then I'm going to zoom in with this little bar here, just pulling in so I can see now I know that my video my video credits are at least five seconds long because it's slowing down over two seconds and stopping over three. 
So I need at least five seconds and then I need some time for the other credits to come on screen. So I'm going to pull it out so it's longer than five seconds and then I'm going to preview my footage by hitting the spacebar. Then up they come at a reasonable speed, that's not bad at all. And copyright me, slowing down to a beautiful stop. Exactly what I wanted, perfect. If I want them to go quicker, you simply shorten your titles. Now look at them. Comes up to the end of the film and the titles go up screen a lot quicker. And slow down and of course you can make them even quicker than that by just making it shorter. The speed of the title is always dependent on the length that you make this title dialog box here. So if we want them nice and slow I think I'll stick them back out here and that looks pretty good to me. Let's touch one more time. Rolls up nicely, enough for people to read and be able to see but not so slow that they're bored out their brains. A nice gentle deceleration stop and it stays on screen. I'm Andrew Davis, and I hope you found this useful.